Oh, that's quite all right, Chantel. Nice of you to pop in. Ta-da! Here I am! <laughs> I'm here. But yes, hello, lovely Chantel. Guys, how are you? <laughs> how are things? How are you doing? Oh. Yes, but also very quickly, hello everybody if you're watching us on demand, whether it be Twitch or the YouTubes. Thank you for taking the time to do so. Much love to your face. I do appreciate it. It's a great tip. Sparkle! There he is. Hydrate. Okay, if I must. Thank you, Sparkle. I appreciate it, my good sir. Oh, Chantel, I'm in pain, but all right. Oh, bless you. Well, I send you a big hug. Big hugs. And I hope you feel better soon. Uh, how am I? I'm okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. Today is the last episode of Angels of Death, so I'm very, very excited. I'll hydrate you. I'll hydrate with you. It's my mouth. Yeah, I've got... Yeah. <laughs> it's been one of those days. Sparkle! Just getting my food and I'll be here. Oh, Hi, right, Sparkle. Thank you very much. Again, also... Just going to put this out there very quickly. Let's get through this. If you are watching On Demand, of course, or if you're in the chat, because, you know, everyone's wonderful and amazing and just like it's here, just like, yes, I'm ready. Let's do this. Uh, of course, this month is Charity Month. Yes, we're raising money for the Alzheimer's Research UK. If you click underneath my Twitch channel, you will see there is a panel. Click that. It'll take it to the campaign page. Either share the campaign page outside with as many eyes as you possibly can. I'd really appreciate it. If you have a spare pound or two, feel free to throw it at it as well. Uh, you guys have raised £220 so far, which is... Oh, you guys are amazing. You've done a great job. And uh, yes, definitely much love to all the people that have donated. Don't worry, you'll all be getting your names read out tomorrow and on Saturday because we're having big stream tomorrow and big stream on Saturday. It's going to be a wonderful time. Uh, as you can see, I'm a little bit full of energy. It's mainly because I have done nothing all day. Well, I, I, I've actually had a tidy up. Like, it's immaculate back here. You've never seen this, obviously, on camera because you never see it. But, like, down the sun, like, it was just messy. Very dusty in here. It was not good. So, this morning, I basically got up early, blitzed everything, and then, like, my body was just like, and now we're going to crash because, for whatever reason, you're not well. <laughs> so, I just straight on the bed and was out like a light. But, uh, yeah, we got it all done, which is good. So, I'm very excited. Also, uh, going to throw this out there as well and put this in the chat. But if you are watching this on demand and you're not aware, unfortunately, there's not a panel underneath my, my channel yet, but there will be soon. But, uh, yes, I finally caved in and uh, made a Discord. <laughs> so, this little penguin community officially has a Discord channel, which you can go and check out if you feel like it. You don't have to. The option is there, however. Um, so, yeah. Oi, oi! Hey, how you doing, lovely? Nice to see you in there. I was just about to thank you and Sparkle, actually, funny enough. Again, massive thank you to yourself and Sparkle. Uh, if it wasn't for Sparkle and Hayes, the Discord wouldn't be there. <laughs> like, they helped me out a lot last night. I was extremely tired, but we set it up just so it, it can be used. It is ready. It can get going. It's a great time. It's all there. You can go in there, chat to people. It's a lovely little community that we're starting. But yeah, it's there if you want to. Of course, you don't have to. We will be doing, like, events and, you know, group sessions and charity stuff in there and stuff. So, yeah. The best Penguin Discord ever. Penguin! <laughs> oh, join the famineism. Yes. But thank you very much, Hazel. That's very sweet of you. I appreciate it. But yeah, very good. Very good, very nice. I did set up a command for it, but uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know how that works. I'm pretty sure like the Discord share links change. So I don't know. I could be wrong with that. I don't know. Uh, I gotta go redecorate and sand the plaster in the old house soon. So if I disappear suddenly, that'd be why. Oh, that's not a problem, Hayes. <laughs> not east for wicked. Not rest for the wicked. Yes, I agree. It is always that way. 
But yes, definitely join the penguin family if you want to. I have my right hand penguins, which are the wonderful Haze and Sparkle. Uh, they're helping me with everything in the background because I'm useless at Discord shit. So they're helping me set it up and make it more intuitive and friendly for everyone and just a nice place to be. So yeah, again, much love to you and Sparkle Haze. Uh, thank you for having my back and helping me out because, oh boy, it was a mess <laughs> before you two got there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, very exciting stuff. Very exciting stuff. Uh, I've made and deleted enough servers to be semi useful now. Oh, you're not semi useful. How dare you? You're very useful, Hayes. And the thing is now, right? Having a Discord makes sense because if I ever want to collab with people or have like anyone, you know, in, uh, in the Discord or in the stream and stuff joining me, now I have a bunch of channels in my Discord. I can just ju jump in them and people can join. It's a wonderful world. <laughs> but yeah. You do, I know. It's all very exciting. But yeah, rude. Oh, take your time, indeed. Chantel, I'll stalk you now. Oh, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping what I want to do with the Discord as well is I want to be a, like, I want to make sure that I'm always a part of it. Like, I want to make sure that I'm online at least once a day and that I'm checking it out. Like, I want to really work on it over the next week and get it, like, really nice looking and in a good place. So then, like, it's easy. Have specific channels for, like, if I'm doing, like, a podcast or something, you know, have a channel for people to come and join in. <laughs> in a fun way though that's fine Chantel you're more than welcome to I also want to I'm gonna have to get Nitro again but money's a little tight right now so even Nitro is like money that I don't have to spare <laughs> so out yes penguin model unite <laughs> uh and chat outside streams and go chill together and maybe even game with one another since we all get along here on the channel yeah exactly i mean that's what i'd hope anyway oh, but... <laughs> oh chantal i trust you well like uh, my goal is to have like it's gonna be quite a quite a lot in there eventually like we've already got like the meme page and stuff so memes can be posted and things like that but I want to have, like, multiple different chats for, like, I don't know, watch parties and things like that. Like, but there are going to be a few uh, voice channels that I'll have that are, like, private. I believe if you have it as a private channel, you can basically invite people in. So then, like, if I'm fully streaming live and someone's like, hey, can I join? I'll be like, yeah, sure. I'll have, like, a specific one. So just randomers don't just jump in and be like, hey, I'm here to mess shit up. <laughs> Yeah, you can make some a role to join it. Yeah, dude. I don't know if I'd force people to have a role, but I might have like a waiting room area if that makes sense. You know, have like a little waiting area for like people that want to join in. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, that you only give and then remove after, or you're adding them into it. Oh, that's true. true, 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 true. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I've still got to set up like the role thing. <laughs> I've still not got that down to a T, but I am hoping. Uh, by the end of this week, I'll I'll have all that sorted. Because I'll be I'll probably be on Discord tomorrow tomorrow night to sort of do some more shit with it as well. 
I was thinking about I could do some stuff on stream as well, sort of setting it up. But yeah, uh, it's what I do for T Rex Zone. I also have a sh <laughs> streaming uh, streaming channel where people are on audio on push talk when they join. Ah, that makes sense. See, I want to have safety measures like that just in case. I mean, again, right? Anyone that watches me that's under the age of 16, I appreciate you. You're amazing. Thank you very much. But when it comes to having people under 16 on my actual streams, I don't do that anymore. Simply because I've had issues in the past with people who have come on and they're under 16. And then they've like either... I've had two incidences, one that said something very inappropriate and another one that literally took the entire stream, uploaded it onto YouTube when someone in the stream specifically said they didn't want it on YouTube. So, you know, I had to deal with that shit then behind the scenes. This was before, like, I, I met you, Chantel, and Hayes, and all you lovely people. So, yeah, it was a little bit rough. The famous Brawlhalla stream. <laughs> Chantel, it makes sense that you quit do you quit doing that. Yeah. But the thing is like the, another reason as well is like I feel like when you've hit sixteen or above, like it's fun. You know. In the UK it's eighteen and you're legally an adult. Sixteen is for like uh there are certain things at sixteen that it's like it's fine. It's like the age of consent and stuff, so it's yeah. For every little rule we have, there's a very good reason why. Exactly, exactly, exactly. I know like there's I I know there's streamers that would have anyone on, and that's great. That's amazing, good for them. Not for me. <laughs> so, because I also, I, I don't want to, like, I don't want anyone to be put in an uncomfortable situation as well. But yeah, people who, you know, are under 16 can still join the Discord. They just won't be allowed on streams until they hit 16. That's fine. As long as it's a little healthy penguin community, that's all that matters. And the waddle shall rise. <laughs> We shall team up with the T-Rexes. <laughs> and we shall rule the world. Penguins and T-Rexes, friends forever. That is how it will work. <laughs> Hayes will bring a T-Rex pack. I shall bring the waddle. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, I swear to God! Thank you, Chantel. <laughs> Appreciate the Jesus FN Christ. It's much appreciated. Much love to you guys. Uh, I have the opposite, but my Discord isn't exactly PG-13, so I ask people to rejoin when they're 15 plus in swearing and uh, topics discussed, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, nope, didn't work. Wait, what? What do you mean, didn't work? I heard it. <gasps> Did it not come through? <gasps> what? I will not have this blasphemy. I will have to play it again. Yeah, no, I think I'm tempted to have certain channels that are like, you know, you have to be a certain age to talk about certain topics and stuff, you know, but yeah, scaring you didn't work. Oh, I'm sorry, Chantel. I'm kind of glad if I'm being honest that it didn't because I was holding tea. <laughs> and as a British person, that would have been very upsetting to have spilt my tea on me, especially that I'm wearing white, <laughs> you know, I'm wearing white. Can you imagine? It'd be impossible to get that stain out. <laughs> But yeah, I want to make like certain parts of um, the Discord so like certain chats like not safe for work, funny stuff, you know. And that doesn't necessarily mean sex stuff. What I mean is like you know a joke that's maybe not, not appropriate for someone under the age of like consent, you know. Because I understand like my humour is very much not for the younger audience, right? That is my humour. But uh, I want everyone to be able to join the Discord. But it has to be like there's certain areas that just have to be regulated for safety, you know. Uh, but I'm more vocal and active on Discord than Twitch in any way, since external stuff, like fixing the uh, fixing up the old house. I wish I like lived close to you, Hayes. I'd love to help you like fix up a house and stuff. I love doing DIY things. I've always had fun with that stuff, man. It's always been uh, a thing that I enjoy. I'm not great at it, but you know. The sound worked. Oh, okay. It's just it didn't scare me. There's a robin. <laughs> I dance for you. <laughs> Hi, Robin. <laughs> uh, good job it didn't work. I know. Spilling tea is very sad. Oh, God, I'm struggling to keep up with the chat. My goodness. 
Uh, and not the white clothes. Yeah, can you imagine? I'm glad it didn't, <laughs> didn't work out. Oh, that's all right. You'll get me again. There's plenty of horror games we got lined up. Uh, hey, so it's not a joke they'd include in 15 or below film, then uh, maybe to restrict the chat. Yeah, seems like a good idea to be fair, though, Luke. Oh, well, I hope so. I just, uh, yeah, I don't want to be too restrictive on it, but I think it's just a safety thing, right? Sorry, I spam. No, it's fine. I don't mind you spamming, Hayes. That's absolutely fine. I am appreciative that you enjoy talking in my chat that much. And uh, I've become the best filler and sander of walls. Oh, I can imagine. The best. Hayes. You are the best. You will have an award for your efforts. It shall be the best award. But yes, hello, Robin. How are you? I hope you're well. Uh, never did either prior to a month ago. And oh my god, Robin, hi. Party time. Uh, ignore my shizlu. <laughs> it's just chatting crap. Not at all. Not at all. Perfectly fine. Spam away. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Chantel, you have a new favourite word. <laughs> Spam <-y> am. <laughs> you're wonderful uh, to talk to and listen to. Oh, oh. Well, I appreciate that. That's very sweet, Hayes. No, you. No, you. <laughs> I really need to stop assaulting this microphone. Like, it's barely hanging on to life at this point. Hi, Hayes and Chantel. How's you two doing? Oh. Yeah, how are you, Robin? Uh, in pain, but all right. Oh. I'm good, too. I'm just looking forward to fixing up our old house shortly. I'm still achy from last time. How about you? Indeed. Yeah, we're going to be finishing off uh, Angels of Death, of course, today. So my voice is primed and ready to be doing the voices. We're going to be finishing it today. I'm very excited. I, I actually can't wait. I was meant to be starting this sooner, but I just I'm enjoying talking to everyone. It's been a lovely time. And I have to catch up on some of this when I return. Exactly. Ooh. But yeah, don't forget, guys, longer stream tomorrow and a longer stream on Saturday as well. Big streams coming. But yeah, uh, I'll be here for a few yet, but uh, so my chat AFK whilst I, get, uh, whilst I get ready. Of course, that's fine. Robin, still coughing up blood, but I'm deaf or better than yesterday. You didn't finish it yesterday? No. Uh, I basically, yesterday, I was still not feeling well, for those of you who weren't aware. Um, I was feeling quite rough still yesterday, but I'd already missed a day of streaming, so I wanted to come on the stream, so we did Deep Rock Galactic for a couple of hours, uh, and then I came off. Um, and then this morning, I'm still not feeling 100%, I'm still, like, completely out of energy, but I just thought, do you know what, I want to finish it today, my voice is feeling okay, I'm not feeling as ill. Also, Robin, I have a Discord now. Uh, if you want to join it, feel free. <laughs> it's where everyone will be, and it is the Penguin Army. The Waddle. It's a great place to be. So why not come over? Say hello. Meet everybody. It's a nice place. <laughs> Everyone's friendly. But yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I hope you feel better soon though. Our uh, new cough. <laughs> Leave Robin alone. Yeah, exactly. Go on. All the, the Waddle. Let's get together and get rid of this cough. Together. <laughs> Send it to me. It's in... If you... Well, actually, I'll put it in the chat now. Unless... <gasps> Will Hayes get there first? Will Hayes get there first? <laughs> I'm a waddle cat now. Ah, oh, you are sparkle. A beautiful waddle cat. Ah, oh, you beat me, Hayes. There you go. Thank you very much, Hayes, for putting that in the chat. I do appreciate it. Uh, 40 success. Catch you later. All right, Chantel, look after yourself. I'll see you in a bit. Thanks, Hayes. Oh, it's waddle for anyone who wants to join. Yeah. Lose waddle. Ah, oh, the waddle. I can't believe that a pack of penguins on land is called a waddle. That's adorable. I joined earlier. I did see Sean. Hello. Welcome to the chat, good sir. I appreciate you joining. Uh, again, hope you enjoy it. Oh, something actually. Sean, Sean being here has just reminded me. We will be doing a live podcast episode tomorrow right here on the Twitch channel. So you don't want to miss that. Me and Sean talking shit in the evening. It's going to be a great time. We do do some new stuff, but we will also be talking about games. We'll be talking about films and movies, interesting things. And we want you guys to be here to interact and join us for it as well. So we'll be doing a live podcast tomorrow. But yes, bye-bye, Chantel. I will see you later. Much love to your face. I want there's a group of penguins on land. Indeed it is, Hayes. Indeed it is. The waddle. It's Discord. For anyone who wants, indeed. 
indeed. I don't know why. I copied the link for the Discord and put it into like that, uh, put it into like a command, but it's like a different link, but I think it still goes to the same place, so I think it's fine. Uh, can I talk about We Will Rock You 2? Yep, that'll be talked about tomorrow. So the podcast episode will be starting around 5 or 6. I'm not too sure yet. I'm going to have to chat with Sean, of course, to make sure that, uh, you know, he's available and <laughs> understands, like, everything going on. I know I know you are aware that we're doing a live one, right, Sean? <laughs> I mean, we talked about this, I remember. <laughs> I think I asked you earlier in the week. Oh, God, now I'm, like, doubting myself. I'm like, did I ask him? Oh, no. <laughs> it does send an invite to the Waddle, so we're good. Awesome, awesome. The bot one, of course. I would expect nothing less. Of course, anyone that does join the Waddle, you will be added to the Waddle pack. And uh, it is always a good time. I actually need to add Robin to... Yeah. Although, actually, Sparkle might have beaten me to it. <gasps> no, he did not. Aha! I can do something. I wasn't too sure. Actually, this is a question for Sparkle. Can you add, add people into, like, two different things? Hi, Robin. There you are. Oh, hi, Sparkle. Uh, Sweet. Okay. Thank you, Sparkle. I appreciate it. I'm a dum-dum, and I still don't understand things on Discord. <laughs> But thank you for letting me know, mate. I appreciate it. Uh, Lou, your invite links are one. one uh, bleh, bleh. Yeah. Lou, all your invite links, sorry, are ones that expire. Ah, I get you. You can edit invite link. Oh, okay. But, uh, um, Lou, change the Nightbot one for this one. <laughs> okay. I will. I shall. Eh. See, this is why I have you guys. You're just amazing. You help me so much. Because I am fool! I don't need to edit you. Ah! Fucking laptops. Eh. Okay, let's do this. There. Better. There we go. Okay, that's changed now. Brilliant. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, Hayes. This is set to never expire. Oh. What would I do without you guys? Uh, two different things. Elaborate. I can't remember. <laughs> My brain is like in overdrive mode, so it's just forgotten everything. I added Robin to the waddle, so that's fine. She's there now. But yeah, I'll probably be uh, in my Discord later tonight as well. Of course, myself and Sean are going to be watching some more Lost later, so it might not be until a little bit later than, than normal, but yeah. Uh, be right back. Dad's not game. Prov's got to go. See you soon. See you soon, Hayes. Look after yourself. What things? Oh. You asked me if you can put people into two different things. Oh, yeah. So what I was asking is, you know how I've got, like, the right-hand penguins, which is, like, you and Hayes? Could I also put you into the waddle as well on Discord? Or does it just, you know, would it, like, take you out of one and put you in the other? How fab stream if I'm not back soon? Oh. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, you can give us, uh, you can give us the wall, yes. Feel free to give yourselves the wall, the role of being a waddle. I want everyone to be in the waddle, as well as, like, you two are staying my right-hand penguins, because you know what the fuck you're doing with this called, I don't. <laughs> uh, you can ask many roles to any user as one. Oh, that's awesome. But we will only show up display role for the highest. Ah, got you, got you. That makes sense. Okay. Thank you, I appreciate that. But yes, look after yourself, Hayes. I hope it all goes well. And, uh, of course, I send my love to you. <laughs> right flippers. Exactly. <laughs> TY22. Oh, well, thank you, Hayes. I appreciate it. And Robin, yes, I have joined. I did see. Thank you very much for joining. Again, it's there's no pressure to join the Discord at all. There will eventually be a panel underneath my stream if people want to click it and join the Discord. But for now, there isn't a panel. I've got to do a lot of cleaning up under there, but that will be happening hopefully quite soon. Um, so, yeah. Do it now! <laughs> I know, Sparkle, I know. Uh, join now. Yes, 
Join. Join the waddle. Become part of the enormous waddle. But yeah. Actually, uh, Sparkle, after the stream today, uh, if you don't mind, uh, I'll be joining you in a VC just to chat uh, about some stuff uh, later on. Uh, see if we can get some stuff on the go. And, uh, of course, everything else that's going on in the background. I don't want to say anything on stream. It's all a surprise. <laughs> I'm going to fuck it up. <laughs> but, yeah, surely. Uh, I'll be in T-Rex as usual. Of course, of course. I shall tag in later. Right, anyway, let us, let us get to the final episode. Boy, I am, I'm not going to lie, I'm actually quite excited. It's very few games that we play on stream that I'm like, generally enjoying these ones yet. Because normally, if I, like, a certain point, you have to play the game. How are you doing, good sir? How are you doing? Loud game. Yeah. It is very loud. I don't know why the game is so loud, man. But it just is. Literally, I have to turn it down so much on my audio settings. But yeah. Hello, Fenry. How are you doing, mate? You doing good? I hope so. <laughs> it is a fair loud game. But right. Are we ready? The final chapter. And then it's all over. Don't forget, guys, we're doing this for charity. Charity. Let's go. This is what we're playing today, and that's it. So. I believe episode four. It would be embarrassing now if there's like a fifth episode. <laughs> I'm fairly certain there's only four, but you just, you never know these days. Wait, Zach. Don't go that way. i got to try and remember voices and stuff now. Huh. Yeah, I think that's her voice. Her voice was very bland, and then I changed Zach's voice to my voice. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hmm. Gotta hydrate. Gotta have some of that wall roar. Think. Think. Hey, Ray. What are you doing? Uh. Indeed. Here we go. Hello, clean ass. Jesus, that hit me loudly. How are you doing, clean ass? Hopefully you're well. <gasps> Thinos, I have Discord server now. It is the Waddles. It is the Penguin family. It's a great place. Okay. But how are you doing, Thinos? You're doing well? I hope so. This place totally, totally looks like the inside of a house. What's going on? I don't know. I don't know, Zach. What is going on? Oh, we're actually playing as Zack, okay. The light, it won't come on. That it won't. <gasps> Bloody hell. What's the deal with all these flowers? Not to mention, they're not even real. Fakes, but smell just like the real thing? <gasps> oh. TV doesn't work. Oh, that that is the end of life. The TV doesn't work? Mm, it's not worth living. It's all sewed together. It is. Ah. Its arms are stuffed. The mouths and body are stuck together. Is this some kind of doll? Zack. Uh, I'm good, thanks. Busy in work, and I've just joined the server. Oh, thank you, Cleanus. You didn't have to do that, but I do appreciate it. Much love to your face. Hi, Robin. How are you doing? Oh. By uh, work busy? I can imagine, you poor thing. Sit back and relax. Enjoy. Hopefully, anyway. Stop it, Zach. Anything could happen here, so don't go around just blindly touching stuff. Huh? What? What? Zach. Stop it, Zach. You've been acting all weird lately. What are you losing your shit over this kind of stuff now for? Huh? Gah! What 
the hell? It's a stiff. A... Fucking gross. Still coughing up blood, but I was better than yesterday. At least you're better than yesterday, Robin, but hopefully soon you won't be coughing up blood. That's never pleasant for anyone, I imagine. Zach. Hey. Please. Oh, please. I beg of you. Hurry up and kill me. My God. Yeah, more was coming, uh, coming in. Preparing for the big summer one. Yeah. I can imagine summer's probably, like, super busy. Blood. Not good. No. Not good. Robin's coughing up so much blood she made this scene. <laughs> I'm sorry, Robin. I'm sorry. Maybe that was insensitive. I love you, Anthara. Hey. Where the hell did that come from? Please. Hurry. What are you babbling about? Why the hell would I kill you here? We're not even outside yet. Plus, that's not the look I want to see on your face when I do it. But... This book... <gasps> Light bulb. I remember. It's a bibble. <laughs> I don't call them Bibles. I call them bibbles. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's just what I call them. God hates liars and the impure. He fucking despises you then, doesn't he? Uh, uh, uh. I don't know how I'm okay. I'm sorry. Please, Zach. Hurry and kill me before you know too much. Please! As I am now. Kill me. Please. If you're my god. Hey! Stop screwing around and get a hold of yourself. Very unusual. May I say, madame, very strange. <laughs> <laughs> she just pushed the body off like, fuck that thing, just put her on there. The hell? Why'd she go and collapse on me all of a sudden? Maybe she's exhausted. Don't blame her. And she's been acting so weird and panicky. Damn it. Damn it! She just now gets a despair-filled look on her face. Ugh. It's no fun with her making that face at me now. My God, huh? So she's talking about me. Ugh, what's going on here? I don't know, Zach. The whole thing sickens me. No, fair. Uh, huh? What's this? Did it fall out of Ray's bag? Apparently so. Huh? Ah! I can re I can't read it. Hey, there are photos on them, which means this is mine and the other is Ray's. These numbers do make sense, though. But still, damn, we're making annoying faces. What's that sound? It's like footsteps. Very slow footsteps, but footsteps. Come to think of it, I never did find out where that bastard Danny ran off to. That sound. It's coming from where I came in. Can we, like, look at the book? She was looking at this book. The fuck does it say? It's all gibberish to me. Her face is ghost white. No damn. It's blue. There's nothing I can do for her, so I'll just let her rest. Alright, then. It's coming from outside here. Ah! Uh. The hell? Huh? Hey, so this toy is what was making that sound. Slice! Slicing powers. Damn it. Misleading me with stupid shit when I'm all on edge. What? It works. I'm rid of him. No, no. Don't know that breaking stuff isn't the answer for everything. Zack. Don't hit the door so hard. Tired Ray will wake up from her nap. <laughs> Danny, you bastard! Too bad. It won't budge even with your strength. <laughs> Looks like the doors on this floor are quite sturdy indeed. Hey, what is this all about? Open the door, Danny. Yes, Zag. I could open it, but now's not the time. Isn't that right, Rachel? Oh, I do hope she opens her peeper soon. Hey, if you touch a hair on her head, you're dead! No need for the attitude, Zack. 
I won't harm her, but now I have a full deck. That's inappropriate. Write your safety and how to find the way out of this building. What? Now use that worthless brain of yours to comprehend what I'm about to say, you irritated fool. I rate Ill illiterate, illiterate. God damn it. I mean to give you some clues and extend a helping hand. All right. You've stood complacency by her side, obviously. Worst of all, she refuses to you as she refers to you as her god, and you aren't even opposed to the idea. Fuck her rambling and talk like normal so I can understand. Mm hmm. Now go and learn about her. This floor is the very essence of her. I'll let you decide then what's truly best for her. Depending on your choice, I'll get you out of here. Sans Rachel, that is. What kind of half-assed explanation is that? Hey, wake up, Ray! She slumbers, hiding such lovely jewels. Until you know her, she shall remain this way. Hey, cut the bullshit. I don't think he understands that hitting the door is not going to open it. Shit! Lots of, lots of shits. Nowhere. She must be hiding a hell of a secret then. Something about God and some other stuff. Ah, there's no use in thinking about it. Maybe something will turn up if I tear the whole place apart. Anyway, I'll have to get there by going around from here. Indeed you will. Huh? What? What was that just now? I got a dodge on my shish kebab. Okay, I'm saving by here so I don't have to keep, like, listening to... Oh! Oh! Oh, God. Shot through the heart. Uh, training period going over all good. Just sitting in GMV and waiting for my K9 and the platoon. How is everyone else doing? Oh, that sounds interesting, to say the least, Fenry. And uh, I'm doing okay. I obviously can't speak on behalf of everyone else, but I'm all right. Bit tired, but other than that, oh, doing pretty well, mate. Doing pretty well. Ooh. Oh, what is this place? What's going on here? This place has cheap instant death written all over it. Ah, oh, shit! What a pain in the ass. Oh, what do we have here? Looks like a whiteboard. There's some sort of writing on it. Sure wish I could read. Guess I'll pick it up for the hell of it. Acquired white plate. Oh! Man, the floor here squeaks like crazy. Basically, don't step on the weak spots, I'm assuming. Study door is locked and also doorknob. Some sort of post used for hanging objects protrudes from the center of the door. What? How the hell does this thing open? So it's locked on another. Okay. This way then. Down we go. It's not even chilled. Nothing good here. There's no running water. Ain't nothing. I got no reason to use fire for, fire for anything. Crap! I broke one. Ah, I broke another. Why is there a Domino's box? What's a pizza doing here? Can I eat it? Sure, why not? Oh! What? Do we die from eating pizza? Yep. <laughs> Mother fucking hot! Fuck on a fucking plate, fuck! What sort of sick, twisted trap is this shit? Huh? What is this? A door? Is there a basement or something? He won't fucking budge. I think I said freaking. <clears throat> I can push, pull, hit, or kick it all I want, but it won't get me anywhere. Hmm. It's locked. I gotta search for a key. What a pain in the ass. 
You are right. That is a, a tremendous pain in the ass. What kind of pizza is this? My mouth burns, stings, and it's fiery hot all over. It's a, a hot pizza. <laughs> it won't budge. Plus, it is hard as rock. Are the doors here made of metal or something? I guess so. Oh. Bathroom! There's a bathtub full of water, but it's all murky. Ew. Hey, something's inside. Okay. What we got? Oh man. Oh shit. That's disgusting. Oh god. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Gross. Sorry. Gross. A quiet key. Gross. God damn. You kidding me? A key? What kind of dipshit would put a key somewhere like this? I mean, good question. My hands. Ah, oh, gotta wash them. Not even a drop comes out when I turn the tap. No water's coming out. Okay. Looks like it was making sure off. It's dirty, but better than washing them in the shitter, I guess. True that. True that. Huh? Ow! Something bit me. What the hell was that? I don't know. What's this? Fish? Come on now! For a tiny fish, they sure got some razor sharp teeth and that attitude. Looks like these little fish didn't know their place in this food chain. Do I look like food? Glad you're doing okay. Oh, thank you, Fenway. Again, I hope you're doing well as well, friend. I hope you're doing well, mate. Now look at my hands. They're dripping with blood. Well, I guess blood's an improvement over the other shit. Looking at the mirror won't help. Ain't nothing to see but me. Okay. Straight to the point. I wonder. Hmm. Guessing it's upstairs then. Oh, actually, it might be for this. Use key. I'd rather not touch this key, but looks like I've got no other options. Use it! Use the key! Okay. It opened. This leads downstairs, huh? Indeed it does. Let's go. So let's go. Here we go, with another weird place. Now it's a basement. Everything's so damn complex. the hell can I find out about her down here anyway? I, I don't know, Zach, but you were going to find some... Man, it reeks of animals. Something's in there. It's a wolf. You sense the presence of animals on the other side of the door. Not that I can get in there. Oh, shit. There's some mon monster mutt. What the hell's up with this place? Are you hungry? You're all dirty and covered in drool. Back off. I'll beat your asses if you bite me. Don't like taking a beating, huh? You're good as dead, you filthy mongrels. Ah! That hurts. Ah! Don't fucking bite me! Hey, get out of the way, you dumb mutt. Ready for another round, eh? Bring it. Not gonna lie, I miss my own bed. Oh, I can imagine, Fenry. How long have you been away from your own bed now, then? Oh, no puppies. Like, how long have you been out now? I can... I think it's, it's been a couple of months, right? Oh, man. Stupid pooches. Wasting my time. Plus, those bites hurt like a bitch. Who uses a dog, anyway? The guy in the store definitely has a screw loose. Unclean beast. This floor is the very essence of Ray. Or so he said. What in the hell is any of this supposed to tell me about Ray? Good question. Can we actually go check in the, uh, the room now? Did it open up? Oh, it did. The scent of animals permeates the air. Man, it reeks. No way I'm going down in there. 
All right. Just thought there might be something down there. There's something up ahead. There's things in the way. Oh, God, stop breaking shit. I'm just going to keep saving because I imagine that this one is going to be filled with surprises. Doll parts lie on the floor. Ooh. I really like the music in this, man. Uh, been here for three months. Still three months, maybe more to go. Ah, oh, fair play, mate. Fair play, Fenry. I can imagine it's fucking tough. It's not easy, all right? It's a mountain of tacky junk. It's a broken doll. There's a pile of seam riddled stuffed toys. Okay, so this is locked too, huh? How do I open it? No, don't just hit it. Sick. Damn it, I'm all out of ideas. <laughs> Even if I try to learn more about her, my head can't keep up. Box won't open, and this room makes no friggin' sense. Man, this place is more fucked up than my room. Wouldn't hurt to clean up every now and then. Hey, I did that today. I blitzed my room. Damn. Guess there's no choice but to look somewhere else. I gotta get back to that room and do something about that eyeball freak before Ray wakes up. This flower smells really strong. Wait a sec, is this flower even real? Can we check? Can you, like, hit it? Fast smells strong, it's making me sick. Okay. Strange enough, a red liquor drips from a stuffed toy. Probably won't break even though I've chucked it up against a wall. Oh! I stepped on something again. Shit, another trap. Uh, uh! Ah! Through the floor! For fuck's sake, what kind of house is this? The guy in charge of this floor needs his head examined! Oh, fuck. Crap. One wrong move and the wood will give way. <sighs> if I fall, I'd probably be a goner. Ah, damn it! You would be do well to be more wary, Zach. <gasps> oh, it's him! Although I expected something like this would happen. Expected? Expect my knife in your belly. What the hell are you doing here? Hmm. Why did you save me? Come now. What fun would it be if your story were to end here? That girl who paid no mind to my warning and threatened me with a knife. Rachel Gardner is with Danny, I presume? You were on a quest to take her back, were you not? So what? What do you want from me? Hmm. Zack. Could it be that you have learned to feel emotions through all of this? What's so fucking funny? Quit smiling! Wipe that smug look off your face! Ah, forgive me. I didn't intend ridicule you. Then what the hell did you intend? I was merely intrigued as to what came over you. Your uncle. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Huh? What do you mean? Came over you? Why the hell is everyone here so damn cryptic? And you're the biggest question mark of them all! What the hell do you mean? Hmm. Very well, Zack. It appears sophisticated matters are not your strong suit. Allow me to explain. Monologue time! Ever since childhood I have obsessed these, those devout to God. Observed. Sorry. Some were beautitious whilst others were blind and ugly. At times people would exploit God as an instrument to condemn non-believers. And then pretentiously flaunt God's imaginary imagery. God damn it. I suppose it always weighed on my mind. What would God truly think if he saw those people? Or so I asked myself. Uh... What? 
could you be civil and heed what I have to say? Though earnest, you lack such consideration. Oh, give it a rest, will you? I told you to make it simple so I could get what you're talking about. Nothing you said makes any sense. Very well. In short, I wish to see things from the Lord's own eyes by playing the role of God in this place. This building serves as a garden of sorts to put my idea to the test. Those placed on floor B7 are mere subjects to be monitored. An angelic intervention was requested to test and extract justice on those brought here. Those who possess no opposition to bloodshed were adept. Denny, Eddie, Kathy, and you, Zack. Ugh. Although I suspected that you have qualities far removed from the others. Huh? You were exceedingly pure and... I can't read English! <laughs> D naive? I'm fucking... <laughs> I, d I don't know. I'm not even going to attempt it. An unadulterated murderer. Which is precisely why I intended to bring you here as one of my angels. Nonetheless, you have broken the rules here, thus making you a sacrifice as you are attempting to leave this place. So you do want to kill me, huh? I am still speaking. Do not misunderstand me. It appears that you, who only desire to leave this place, are attempting to take Rachel Gardner with you. Therefore, I became curious as to why. So both of you have now become monitored subjects. It makes no fucking sense either way. Ah, uh, that is perfectly fine with me. I do not think you verbally capable of conveying your feelings anyway. Besides, I am not done monitoring you yet, so we shall see what comes to pass. You say that you're watching everything. Seriously, Reverend? That was my original intent. Though, if that bothers you, I apologize. What bullshit? The hell is an apology going to do for me? Oh, come to think of it, solving the puzzle imposed by Danny may be somewhat beyond your abilities. Shall I lend you some assistance? Huh, seriously? Well, idling time is also a dull act, you see. Should you find yourself at odds, then come hither for my counsel. In exchange for my help, however, I should like to keep watch over your actions. <sighs> I wish to see how you intend to leave this place, what you are perceiving to become, and who you really are. Fine. Oh, before that, Zack, answer me this. How? How did you feel when Rachel Gardner called you God? Damn it. Never ends with these people. <sighs> it creeped me out. Is that so? Hey, do me a favor. Yes. Stop talking in riddles all the damn time. It's such a major pain in the ass to me. Every single one of you are just idiots to me. Hmm. Is that so? All right. All right. Even if I went upstairs, I've got no clue what to do. 
guess I'll ask that bastard preacher. Oh, we have to actually ask him? Oh, okay. I thought it would have been an optional thing, but okay. Hey. Yes. Don't yes me. What should I do? Because honestly, I don't got a clue anymore. Nothing but locked doors everywhere. Plus no keys. The only thing I got is this plate. Zack, is that just an ordinary plate? Huh? I know there's writing on it, but I can't read it. Hmm. Names are written on it. Names? That nameplate, tis meant to be hung on the door of its owner's room, Zack. Try hanging it somewhere that comes to mind. I guarantee you will get a response from it. Huh. So I should just hang it wherever? Huh. Yes, that too may prove fruitful. Know this, the name of a man and woman is inscribed upon it. Conceivably, a couple in wedlock. Hell if I know. But we do, Zack, that's the thing. We do know indeed, Zack. Well, I mean, we know, you don't, you're an idiot. Is this where I hang the plate? I just want to be confused. Yeah, I know. So it does like, yep, yeah, fuck, fuck! Do I hang this plate? Did it work? Nothing, huh? Guess that means this room doesn't match this plate. I wonder if this one will work. Why does it have to tell me every time? Do I hang this plate here? I know it's a study, but other door might work. Oh, <gasps> it worked. Pay dirt. If I push it with this, I can get in. Whose room is this? It's just a plain old room. A big goddamn bed. That is a big goddamn bed. I'm not gonna lie. It's empty. A photo book. It's really messy and would probably be annoying to look through. You're gonna look through it. <laughs> huh? A small key was inside the box. <gasps> I know where that goes. Can I use this to open that box in the basement? Acquired small key. Yes! Oh! What the? Tits on Christ! The ceiling's coming down! I gotta get out of here before I'm a pancake. Oh god. Oh. Why am I stuck on that? Oh my god. Do we get out? Huh? Alright. Give me a break. Stop fucking with my... Me house. Me, <laughs> me house? Me house. Wow. Great, great English, James. Whoever's in charge of this floor needs a lobotomy. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Oh shit. It won't open. Oh. What is this place to Ray, anyway? This is her house, I'm assuming. This is where Ray committed that murder. Murder. Never mind. I got a key. Anyway, guess I gotta keep going to find out more about her. It's true, you do. Guess I'll head downstairs. Did you will. Jiggity. Oh. Oop. Da da da. There we are. Use small key. It opened. Ooh. So it plays music when it opens? Music box. It's all just a pile of goddamn junk. And all of it reeks of. <sighs> kids play things. Goddamn. There's something inside. There it is. Then grab it. Grab it with both hands! Ah! Another plate with writing is inside. It's smaller than the one before, plus the writing's not as long. Acquired small plate. Feels like I've seen this writing before. 
Indeed. Guess I'll get going. Hey, do I use this plate the same as the one before? Ah, so you found the other one. Tis to be handed in the same manner as the one before it. Is that so? What troubles you? Uh, are you curious about the inscription? If you wish to know, then I shall read it for you. Hmm. Never mind, don't read it. Are you not curious? Even if I was, I don't feel like having someone tell me. I see. Alright. Alright. Okay. Okay, we don't need to go in the bathroom right now. Okay, I wonder if we can use the small plate. Small, this, piece, this place is friggin' worthless. Okay. Well, we know there's one upstairs still, so I'm guessing it's for up here then. Oh, God. Why does it make me listen to this again? Nameplate. This is bound to be where I'm supposed to use it. I still don't know whose name this is, though. Oh, well. Just as long as it opens. It's true. Okay, it opened. It'll open if I push this. I know I've seen this plate's writing somewhere before. Hmm. Uh, that's right, the papers that fell out of Ray's bag! Ah! Oh, it might as well be in gibberish. I can't read it! Hey, there's a photograph. So, this must be Ray's. And what are these numbers for? It says Ray is 13 and mine's 20? Is it our ages? Okay, so the spaces between the photographs and ages are our names. Hmm. The first letter in Ray's name matches the first letter on the plate. And the next letter also matches the next letter on the plate. And the next ones... Uh, <gasps> they all match. It's Ray's room. Well, what do you know? I knew I'd seen them before. So that means this is Ray's room, huh? What the hell is her room doing here anyway? Oh well, never mind that. I'm curious about what's in store for me next. Given what's been going on so far in this house, I bet nothing good is waiting for me in her room. Well, there's no point in overthinking stuff. Guess I'll go a bit further down the rabbit hole. Can't say I'm not curious. Uh, is this her room? The floor's bright. Red. Is that normal or is that batshit crazy? I've got no clue. Okay, give me a second, guys. I actually need to pop to the toilet. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Just that tea goes straight through me, so I will be right back with you.
There we are. I apologise about that. But when you gotta pee, you gotta pee. Oh god, I hate laptops. Work! There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> Here I am. I am back. Right, let's go! When you gotta pee, you gotta pee, man. It's a bed. <laughs> well done. Books, eh? Can she read all of these? You gotta be kidding me. Does this thing turn on? I think so. It does! In state redacted, city redacted, the remainders of Mr. and Mrs. Gardner were discovered at the private residence. Based on the blade inflicted, slashes and bullet holes on the remains, the incident is being treated as a homicide. Found more than a week after death, the remains are badly mutilated, having been sewn together unnaturally with thread. The daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Gardner, Rachel Gardner, was safely taken into protective custody, however. Reports indicate that due to her exhibiting signs of trauma, she is currently being questioned about the incident. She did it. That's my guess. It's one thing you can't shit on this game for. It's the fucking music, man. It's so good. Ah. Rachel, why don't we have a bit of a in-depth talk for our session today? He's a. It's all right. There's nothing to fear. This is before he went crazy, so I'm not gonna give him. I'm not gonna give her a psychiatrist a crazy voice right now. Oh. Ah, I got it. How about I talk about myself this time for a change? Aha! You looked at me. Oh, I knew it. Your peepers are so beautiful. Well, uh, to tell you the truth, one of my eyes is made of glass. I was born without an eye, you see. When I was a child, my mother worried herself sick about it. Just worried and worried. With such dark peepers. Dark and tranquil peepers. Then, as a child, my silhouette in them was only fleeting. Even so, I still loved my mother. Her peepers were so precious. Rachel, did you hate your parents? No. Well then, why did you think you cut and sewed them up? Hmm. Hmm. I wanted a family. Jesus Christ. I see. How did you come to feel this way? Hmm. How? Hmm. Good question. Ah, uh, come to think of it... Oh, wait. Ah, uh, come to think of it, didn't you find a puppy in an alleyway near your house? It was tiny and cute, yet so fragile. I wanted to keep that puppy so badly. But I would get in trouble if I took it home. First, I went home to tell them about the puppy. Oh, okay, we get to learn about her childhood. Interesting. Gross. Next time I gotta throw it away. The fuck was that? Oh, why do you always contradict me? Well, who would listen to an alcoholic for a start? I was out working all day and I hate being here at this house. <laughs> That's quite a mouth you got there. Who the hell has use for some wino cop like you? Oh, tell me another one, you bitch. Alcohol's less p poisonous than the shit coming out of your mouth. You're hitting me. Stop. Stop it. Oh, Christ. This is fucking... Oh. 
I'm unhappy having wound up with a psychotic wife like you. Jesus, no doubt because your very existence is a wretched one. Tell me, why are you so unhappy? Ah, you're the one that made me this way. It's your fault, all your fault. Shit, a brick. I'm assuming that the lower ones were the mum and the top ones were the dad, I don't know. They're in the kitchen today. I wonder if they'll still listen to me. God, do you really want to... Huh. Huh. Where were you walking around so late? Hmm. Not talking as usual, huh? Do you got half a brain in that head of yours? Um... Oh, so you got something to say to me. Oh, Christ. Hold it. Jumping. Where do you think you're going with that money? Booze? Some whores? <laughs> Planning on making me miserable again? Stop laughing. It gets my nerves. I'm off to buy my own happiness. Is that so? Then while you're out, can you buy my happiness too? Go buy some happiness for an unhappy wretch like me. Not only are you unhappy, but you also burn through all the money. Some kind of metal ca mental case that can't even make ends meet. Oh, it's always my fault, is it? You always blame me. Oh, you foul bastard. You filthy hands have soiled even my own life. Your brain, body and attitude all soaked in booze. Fam! Stop! Hmm. Hey, Dad, um... Oh, everything about this family is miserable. I gotta have booze to cope. Don't run away from the hell you created. It's you. You are the one screwing me up. Screwing this family up. It's not my fault. It's all yours. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Oh, God. I don't want to fucking read this. Oh, you're hitting me. You good for nothing. Shut the fuck up, you crazy bitch. Marrying you is the worst thing that ever happened to me. Oh my god. Jesus, right in front of your fucking kid. I don't want to hit anyone, but you're asking for it. A creepy bitch who can't understand what this crazy bitch is thinking. My life's hit rock bottom because of both of you fucked it up. Jesus Christ. Fam. Mum, one day, one day, I will kill him. Alrighty then. I gotta make them listen. <laughs> I, I mean, personally, I wouldn't fucking bother, love. I'll shoot him. Something happens to me. I'll fight back with this. I'll use this to kill that bastard. I'll show him. Now I've got a secret weapon hidden here. When the time comes, that bastard blubber like a baby. He'll regret everything. He'll blow down. He'll bow down and tell me I was right all along. If I didn't have to be this way, this happened because of him. Mum? Holy shit. <laughs> Ray. <clears throat> what is it? Mum, I gotta talk to you about something. Um I can I can't deal with you right now. The kitchen's a dreadful mess and I gotta clean it up. I'm not in a state to be listening to whatever you have to say. Fucking alright. Please listen. You'll get mad if I don't ask for permission first, right? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Even my own daughter won't do as she's told. Don't you know your being here has got me stuck in this hell? Your very existence is detestable. It's like I'm dealing with your worthless father. It makes me sick to my stomach. Now go upstairs to your room. Uh, Mum, if I listen to you, then will you listen to me? Go now! Don't make me any more of a miserable and cruel mother than I already am. You are in a toxic relationship that you should leave. 
Wait, so do we go and talk to the dad now? or Nobody's listening to what I have to say. Anybody has to say. Why is that? Mum was hiding something over there. Her secret weapon to make herself heard. Hmm? A handgun. So something like this was her secret weapon. Oh dear. In the end, nobody listened to what I had to say. That was a bit of a divorce. And then a while later, I went to go visit that puppy. The puppy was already weakened, likely to fall over dead at any moment. God damn. Music is powerful! When I reached out to pet that puppy, it bit me. After that, what happened until I got back home is still hazy. When I came to, I was in my room, fixing that puppy. But I was soon found out. Gosh, Mum and Dad were fighting really loud that day. What a good boy. Such a good boy. I could just eat you up. I want you to stay with me forever. It's okay. Don't be scared. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. There's something wrong with her because you're crazy. No, it's your fault. That kid's abnormal. Hmm. Christ. Ah, oh, I can't stand this anymore. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Fam. Gosh. It's really bad today. So he killed her, killed himself, and then she tried to, Ray tried to stitch them together. Oh, Christ. The kitchen. Guess I'll take a peek. Now wait here like a good boy. I don't think he's going to move. Oh, Christ. It reeks of alcohol. Oh. I vividly remember what I saw there. Oh my god. So that's what we were seeing. Her dad killing her mum. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? So you saw that, huh? Didn't you? <laughs> I never had a use for her all along! Everything here just makes me miserable! That's why you two must die! Jesus. Oh, how awful. Simply awful. Ah, the puppy. I gotta get to my room. Holy shit. Come to think of it, Mom was hiding a gun. For this moment, in that case, it's okay for me to take it then. It's loaded. Oh. I gotta hurry to my room. Oh my god. This is fucking brutal. No wonder this got turned into an anime. It's safe. Don't be afraid. There's no need to worry. I mean, I really have no choice here. Do you think your father's crazy, Ray? But Ray, you're just as crazy as me. Running to your room and talking to that THING! Something's NOT right with you! Why don't you open that box? Ah, just as I thought. You're insane. 
the hell did you do to that dog? It's a, it's a patchwork corpse. That dog. You killed it, didn't you? Did stitching up its belly and sewing its mouth shut feel good? No. It just became mine. It became my perfect puppy. Hey, Dad. Become my... Become my f perfect daddy! Oh! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Jesus! She had a psychotic break, clearly. Oh, fuck. It's alright. I'll fix you. Holy shit. It's a lunatic, Jesus. Afterwards, I sewed mum and dad to each other. I did it so they'd get along with each other. Then... I replaced Dad's bad arm with a stuffed toys. I sewed Mom's mouth so she made a big smile. That was my perfect Dad and Mom. All three of us played all day, every day with our puppy. Oh, it was so much fun. So when the police took them all away from me, I was so sad. Hmm, I see what you mean. I underestimated your sadness, Rachel. Can I ask you one more thing? After that, a little animal died at the orphanage that took you in. Do you know why? Did you do that too? Yeah. Hey, so why did you feel the need to stitch it up? Too. I heard you absolutely adored that pup. I did adore him. That's right. I really loved him. But it wasn't meant to be. Wasn't meant to be? Yeah. There was something I wanted. I wanted something for my family. Something to call my own. But for some reason, things never play out like they should. Never play out like they should, huh? So Rachel, you want something to call your own? You want more things to call your own, do you? Rachel, my mother took her own life. <laughs> my eye is what killed her. Your peepers bear a striking resemblance to the ones I last saw of my mother's. Dark, tranquil, and most of all, beautiful. I'm in love with your peepers. Oh, Christ. I hope that dark glow in them sparkles for eternity. A steadfast glow that will grant all your wishes in the world. Right, Rachel? Ugh. Fucking hell. Well, that's disturbing. That's fucking sickening. What the hell are you showing me this for? Is this supposed to tell me something about Ray? The handgun, needle, thread, and the corpse doll in that one room? Rachel Gardner. Ray. So this is her floor, huh? Which means the killer here is... 
guess I'll get going. If that eyeball freak still doesn't let me into that room, then he's got another thing coming. But why are all them fakes? Ain't nothing. Okay. It's open. Hey, wake up! You've had enough shot eye. Get your ass up. Sec. I'm so sorry. And I was so sure that I wouldn't drag you down too. Shut up. None of that shit matters. Listen to me. Ray, I need you to answer me. The people who came to this floor. Are you... Gonna kill them. Hey, explain yourself. Can you stop getting rough with Rachel Zack? Watch out. Back off. <laughs> What a simpleton you are! It's repulsive! Dr. Danny. Why, good morning, Rachel! I took the liberty of bringing Zack up to speed on everything about you. Hmm. Oh my. Oh, these turbid peepers! It feels as if they could envelop me at any moment! <laughs> the hell's going on? Am I going to be killed by you since I'm on the floor? No. Never. Now, Rachel, you mustn't lie. Don't misunderstand me. I don't wish to put a bullet through your head. Hey! Silence! Will you give it a rest? I didn't say I'm as desperate as you! I must make her understand that. Besides, a low-life monster like yourself must be Dying to know as well. Rachel killed her parents in seeking her perfect family. I was assigned to be her therapist. I was then... It was then I... Insisted she be made into a resident here on this floor. Well, although the river end didn't seem very taken with the idea, I was convinced everything would be fine. Most of all, her peepers. I longed to protect her eternal solitude at any cost. But her spirit was shattered. Before I knew it, she was reading a Bible placed in this room. <sighs> right? Naturally, the Reverend wouldn't allow me to assign someone like her as a floor guardian. Tell me, Rachel, how could a calm and collected person like yourself become so corrupted? I wanted to achieve my own ideal. I couldn't accept anything other than that. The Bible told me that it was me who would not be accepted. Aha! And so you tried to die, assuming the guise of someone normal, pure and innocent. And Zack! Rachel was convinced she would get away with it. With your help. A fool who swore an oath to God and to top it off! became the very thing for her that you swore to. <laughs> but Rachel, you already knew, didn't you? No matter how much one reads the Bible or realizes one's mistakes, one can never deceive one's true self! Hmm. Somewhere in the heart of yours, you secretly wish to own Zack! Did you not? Oh, how wonderfully horrible. Well, Zack, you've come to a crossroads. Die here or climb down from your exalted altar as raised guard and leave her alone. What shall it be? The truth can no longer be undone. Rachel can no longer be dead and must stay here. <laughs> She has effectively 
deceived you. <laughs> right. Is what Danny's saying true? Hmm. Yes. Oh! That's right, Zack. So you lied to me, huh? I did, Zack. Oh! Zack, will you still be my god? You want to entrust yourself to me? I'm... I'm not some god of yours. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Well, Rachel, you've returned to your usual self now. <laughs> Tell me what is it you desire. I'll make it come true. And Zack, feel free to run along. <laughs> Selfish bastard. Don't tell me what to do. Wait. Rachel! I've committed a foul sin. That much I know. But it was no use. Just knowing it was a sin. Though, why? That's bad. I just can't figure it out. Is it futile, Zack? Am I wrong? Are you not my god, Zack? But, but I need one, Zack. I need a god. Ray! Oh, Rachel, that's very instant. Your peepers are the most beautiful. Zack, I'm afraid I'll have to retract my offer to let you go. Now my top priority is her wish! <laughs> hmm. Well, your only option now is to go after her, even if it could mean your death, Zack. To fulfill her wishes, I shall become her servant! Oh shit. Wait. God damn. Not half bad at sewing, eh? Christ. <laughs> ah, don't lock the door. <laughs> uh, where the hell is she? Is this a washer? How'd she open it? Hey, what's this doing filled up with water again? Don't tell me that she's in here. For fuck's sake! I knew it! I knew she was in the washer! I had a feeling this wouldn't work on you, Zack. Oh. That bitch! I thought I told her to wait up! Chase her! Oh! No. What? Jesus. Fuck. Let's get the shit out of me. You're playing with fire, huh? I'll head you off and get you. Hey, cut it out. Three. Two. Huh? One. Oh! Shit! Oh wow, this won't work either. But you really do hate fire, don't you? No. I'll fuck you up! Did she run away to her room? Hey, wait, what the fuck? Oh! Balls! <laughs> I should have just ran to her room, I know I should have.
I'm a tet. What? Okay. The hell? That was too cr too much crazy for me. Cut it out! Don't fuck with me. Remember that, you idiot. Okay. I think we're coming up to it, boys. I think it's happening. I think it's gonna happen. Hello. Hey. How long are you planning to keep running? Just till now? Yeah. <laughs> are you gonna shoot me? Will that kill you? If you're gonna kill me, then how's about I kill you first? It can't be that way now, Zack. It was useless from the very start. Even now, my soul's telling me that I gotta die. I gotta be killed. But God would never desire an abomination like me. He has no use for me. And it was you, Zack, who swore to God that you would kill me. But once I learned that God doesn't exist, I made you my God, Zack. Ray, listen to me. How many times do I gotta say this? I ain't your God! Yes, I'm aware, Zack. What are you aware of? My life's been... My life's been exposed. My God. is dead. Hey, wait! Damn it. She won't listen to what I gotta say and just says her piece and runs off on her own. God damn. Now that, now that this moon's busted, the room is fucking pitch black. Fuck, what a pain in the ass this light is. Come on. It's open. Hmm. All you ever do is run away. Hmm. Say something. Can't you take a hint that she has nothing left to say to you? <laughs> That was unlike you, leaving yourself open like that. You bastard. Don't move! Are you dead? <laughs> what, Rachel? What took you so long? That's not like you. Well, a monster like that would probably slow anybody down. But no need to worry now. Even he can't survive a shot to the head. You bastard. <laughs> I'm sorry, Doctor. No. <laughs> Rachel? <laughs> Rachel? Dr. Danny, Zack's mine to kill. <laughs> Is that so? That makes sense. Besides, I'm too tired to go on. I want to finish this. I'm sorry, Dr. Danny. I can't live with you. No, no. <laughs> no. Yep. Hmm. I have already killed and created a family. So I won't be forgiven anyway. It's over. <laughs> I don't care, even if it's not my god. It doesn't matter anymore. But Zack, lastly, 
I want to make you mine by my own hands. If you want it so bad, then do it. You want to die? You want me dead? You want to end this? Which is it? None of what you're saying makes a bit of sense. I know that. Well then, quit saying such stupid shit. I don't mean to. I'm dead serious. That's a bad pun. Not a time for jokes like that. I'm serious about killing you. Is that so? Uh, killed by a pint-sized squirt like you? <laughs> Not happening. No. No. Zack. If you want it to end so bad, then I'll end it. No, no, no! I can't, I can't do a girl's voice, I'm sorry, that's gonna sound awful. What's the problem? I'll be granting your wish. Don't kill me. Not like this. Don't kill me. Huh? It's just, you're no longer... My God. I no longer have any need for my own god. My god is dead. Oof. Powerful. Oh. That's right. I killed your god. I killed it. Ah. Okay. <laughs> that just sounds awful. But I'm not dead. Do you catch my drift? Who said they'd kill you? My god. No! Ho ho ho! Bruh. Me. It was me. Not someone else or your god. I will kill you. But I... That can't be... I'm defiled. Who do you think you're talking to here? I'm a killer. Killing's my passion. I've killed more than I can count. But... I'd never run around all psychotically like you and Danny. I don't shit about your parents. I don't shit, ab I don't shit about your parents? That, that, ah, that's, that's grammar, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't give a shit about your parents or God. There's no reason to go around making them excuses for your actions. I, for one, set my heart on what I want and act on my own volition. It's, if, if I'm my own man, then you're your own woman, right? Am I wrong? I'm my own woman? Atta girl! <laughs> if you're your own woman, then grab life by the balls and take control, damn it! Uh, uh. <laughs> hey, Ray. You see me? Who am I? God, so many dings. Zack. Yep. And not some god, right? Yeah? Ooh. You were Zack all along. Hey, you're too damn serious for a crazy bitch. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, Ray. Look who's in front of you. Me. If you can grasp that concept. Ray, desire me. Oh, Jesus Christ. If you want to die, swear an oath for me to kill you. Swear it for yourself. And swear it for me. 
God damn. Oh, she's crying. I mean, this is such a weird fucking... Okay. Okay. I swear it... I swear to you, Zach. I'm trying to do a crying thing. I'm not good at this. <laughs> and I swear right back at you. <laughs> Be your own woman. You decide who kills you. Exactly. Exactly. Pray. Pray. Oh. Oh, okay. Hey, how long are you going to sniffle like that for? But my nose is running by itself. You dumb shit. There's no need to say that. Our plan is to get out of here, so do something about it, will you? Okay. Hold it. Ain't this your floor? You know the way out. To tell you the truth, I have no memory of going above here. What? Give me a fucking break. I wasn't paying attention, but there's a fire in this living room. Well then, let's go check out the foyer first. All right. Hey, is that what Danny was talking about? Yeah, a Bible. What does this say? Want me to read it? It's long, though. Uh, we ain't got no time to read something like that. Can you give me the gist of it, or can I? Or can you spice it up? The gist? Spice it up? Let's just get going. Hey! Zack. <laughs> okay, he ain't going nowhere. So it seems. It's far fake, yeah, but it smells like the real thing. Phew, it reeks. It does not. <laughs> okay. Oh, right by here. Huh? Isn't this a wall? If I'm not mistaken, this should be the fire. Zack, give it a hard shove. Now you're talking. Ooh. I knew it would open. Look, you didn't have to hack it to bits, Zack. It opened, so who cares? I see. It opened, so that's all that matters. Yeah, probably at this point. A dead end? But let's take a look around, just in case. Cardboard box only contains garbage. Nothing inside the cardboard box. Dumpster appears empty. Prior tapes lines on it. Oh, okay. Hey, not even any pay dirt. Any pay dirt? It? That's odd. Something feels off. Ain't this your floor? Think of it. Think of. There was no it. Let's figure out where the next it might be. That's pretty good music. Maybe it's somewhere we've never been. Or on this floor. On this floor. No, I've checked every nook and cranny besides this room when I was setting traps. Gotta hand it to you. Damn, this makes no sense. Has anybody ever come down here from upstairs before? That can't be. I mean, anyone besides you would die in a trap. So we'd know. Probably so. So nobody came down from upstairs, huh? Hmm, something sure doesn't make sense here. Nobody came down from upstairs. That's... <gasps> then we must already be on the ground floor. You're shitting me. Then let's smash a wall and get out of here already! Huh? The 
wall just caved in. It didn't need our side. Sorry, maybe I goofed up. What? Think it's over again? Sorry. Strange. Wait, that's strange. After all, Dr. Danny went in and out of the building. The traps and furniture for this room were all things he bought outside. Huh? What do you mean? Give me a second. I'll think it over. That is some good music, man. Nobody's come down to this floor from outside, but Dr. Danny came and went as he, as he pleased. Which means... There's a way out on another floor. There's a way out. Must be on this floor. There's a warp that takes people out. Must be a way out on another floor. I don't know. Unless it's like a warp. I don't know what to go with, really. Could it be a warp? I really don't know. I'll try warp. There's no way in out, so in order to enter and leave this place, Dr. Danny could have warped in and out. Um, a warp. Isn't he human? Or maybe he was crawling through the ventilation system to get in and out. That creeps me out. He must be some sort of hu superhuman then. Ugh, there's no way in hell that's true, even if I know that, you dumbass. Think harder. <laughs> I gotta think it over again. Fuck's sake. Uh. It must be on this one. There's a way out on this floor. Then what means we gotta look harder, right? Got any ideas? Honestly, not a one. Ha! Huh, nothing! Well, anyway, let's try smashing down a wall. You've already done this! Huh? You have done this! And it didn't work! Nothing! There's no use in smashing walls half heartedly Besides, to tell the truth, I sort of doubt there's a way out on this floor. Fucking hell! So the first one that I thought it might be, and then was like, no, it probably isn't that. It's fucking that one. Jesus Christ. There's another way on, out on this floor. Huh? What do you mean by that? When you came, were the other killers, Kathy and Eddie, already in this building? Huh? Oh, those weirdos. I barely spoke to them since they're all freaks. Just as I suspected. Which means... Oh! I'm the last one to come to this building. It's true! In that case... Oh, well, we know it's not just smash a wall. Have we been going... We've been going down, right? Go down. Zack, let's go downstairs. What? Downstairs. There may be a way out downstairs on floor B2. That makes no freaking sense. Are you psycho or something? There wasn't a need for a way out to be inside this room. In other words, my floor, this floor, should be the very last one made. In that case, when this room was made, there was already a way leading outside. You and I were surely brought in here from there. Da Dr. Danny, who I met outside, had this room built by the river end later on, so I think it wasn't linked to 1F. The fact that I've never seen anyone come downstairs is proof. I'm not sure what to make of all this. We need to go downstairs, right? Right. Plus, I recall that switch to go downstairs is somewhere on this floor. That should be all we need. If you say so, then I'm game. Let's move out. Okay. Let's go! The switch should be somewhere around the music box in the basement. How do we get down to the basement? Oh, whoops. Right, by here. Hey, what gives? Let's head downstairs. Zack, is it alright if I go downstairs alone? Huh? What the hell for? This will also be the last time I come here. So I thought this would be a good place to say goodbye. Why are you going by yourself? Hmm. It's embarrassing having someone else watching, I guess. 
Maybe that's why. <sighs> Just so you know, I slaughtered those mangy mutts. Did you? Sounds like something's right up your alley. <laughs> I'll keep watch, so hurry up and do what you gotta do. Hmm. Okay, I'll be right back. Down she goes! Ah, the music box is playing. Does that mean the lid's open? Yes. Oh, she can jump. All right, then. Greetings, Rachel Gardner. Why? My handgun's gone. I must have dropped it in the living room. Calm down. No harm shall come to you. Then what do you want from me? Oh, I merely desire to ask you some questions, that is all. Hmm. Rachel Gardner, Zack was not your god after all, correct? Yes, but I've come to terms with that. Yes, or so it would seem. But is it that something you truly accept in your heart? Zack and I aren't gods. We just swore oaths to each other. Precisely. Zack is no longer your god. No longer is he absolute. You have made Zack into a being that is not an angel, nor a god. How shall I put it? A being who will grant your wishes without question is no more. What? T'was an oath forged with one who is not god. Betrayal is conceivable. Nevertheless, if you have faith that your oath is absolute, then how does it differ from any god? I never really thought of it as absolute. Is that so? I certainly do have faith in Zack. That much is true. But our sworn oath and faith in one another is something we each decided in our own hearts. Therefore, even if that is betrayed, it's my heart that has faith in him. My heart is mine alone to bear. It's true. I'm prepared to accept something different to God. I see. And yet you still desire your own death. Yes, I do. How? How can you alter your beliefs as such, yet you desire and remain unchanged? It's not that I myself have changed as a person. I just learned to accept myself, that's all. And I no longer want to forgive that side of myself. No one's left to forgive me. Which is why I wish to die. I can't go on living. So you have willed this upon yourself? Yes. And... The rest... I'd better keep a secret. Hmm. Tis a shame. Twere as if you simply renounced God. Oh. Um. You need not stare at me so. Tis too late for that now. Hmm. Hmm. I have one final question. Who are you? Rachel Gardner. Please, stop asking me that over and over. I am me. Nothing more, nothing less. Oh, I see. You speak as if you stand with Zack as an equal. That too may not be entirely mistaken. A child who is neither an angel nor a witch. There is nary a doubt in my mind that you are indeed Rachel Gardner. Yes. Is that all? If we're done here, then let me press the activation switch for the return elevator. Yes. Do as you must. 
You won't stop me? Did I not make myself clear? I shan't stand in your way. Apart from that, Rachel Gardner, twould not hurt to have a little grace. There is a switch at the bottom of the music box. If I press this... It worked. I gotta get back to Zack. Reverend, I'm going now. Very well. I shan't stop you. Do as you must. Reverend, is the way out on floor B2? Do you think I would tell you? I've answered many of your questions. I think it's only fair that you answer mine, Reverend. Mm, indeed. Check the stained glass windows in the th cathedral on B2. Okay. Oh, come to think of it, I never did say goodbye to this place. I'm sorry. Farewell. Time to go. Ooh. Zach, now we can get back to B2. Let's head to the elevator that brought us here. Right behind you. But what the hell took you so long? The Reverend was in the basement. What? He's still around? But he didn't do anything to interfere. What's the story with that guy, anyway? Ah! Uh, what is it this time? I gotta go to the living room. I may have dropped my handgun there. Ah, uh, back then. <sighs> then let's scoop it up and head to B2. Okay. Yeah, of course he's gone. He's gone again. What the fuck? That sneaky bastard! A monster, am I? He's the real monster. Doctor? Shit. Once we pick up your handgun, then let's get the hell out of here. Found it. But this won't cut it. You found it, right? What's wrong? The trigger's broken. Danny. It's useless, right? Yeah. Oh well then, let's get going. Hey, Zack? Huh? Were ours flying through here? Looks like they didn't activate when you were chasing me. <sighs> Don't worry, they were flying at me before. Huh? Hey, don't call me the bastard went below. Don't tell me, sorry, the bastard went below. Probably so. Fuck. Wish we would have sliced him into two. One final battle, I assume, before we leave. Whew! Almost there. Oh, if this I, I did say this earlier. If there's a chapter five, I'm going to be peeved. Because it literally doesn't look like it. You ran into that preacher guy in the basement, right? Yeah. Didn't you say something about saying goodbye or something? Did you? It was really short. But yeah. Is everything over there yours? There's things I've picked up since I came here too. Oh. Then they aren't really yours. Good question. I tried making the mine by sewing and patching them up. But dolls never answer me when spoken to, so I don't know if they really were mine. Though I cared about them, so I said goodbye. Hmm. Oh, the music box is originally mine. When I was young, I guess it was the last thing they bought for me. I really loved its music. Uh, if you want it, then why didn't you just take it with you? There's no need for it anymore. All the music and my memories for it are all in my head. As long as I have that, then I don't need anything else. 
that's okay with you, then that works. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. All right. We're almost to the ground floor. Let's move. Okay. So is episode for the last one, or are they going to make it? Is it five episodes? We're back. You're right. Man, this shit's complicated. Didn't the reverend say, look at the windows? Nothing out of the ordinary appears to be on the shelf. Okay. I'm pretty sure he said something about the cathedral stained glass windows. Yes. There's nothing. I guess it's another stained glass window. Nothing here. It's nothing. I guess another stained glass window. It's nothing here. This stained glass window in the middle is the biggest. I want to check it, but the organ is somewhat in the way. Zach? Authentic! Hello, Mr. James. Hello there, good sir. How are we today? How are things? I hope you are well, good sir. I hope you are well. You need this organ out of the way, right? Yeah. Smashy, smashy! Well, I'm on my way to the beach. Nice! Have a good time. I hope you enjoy it, good sir. I hope all goes well. And it's my birthday tomorrow. Oh, that's amazing, mate. Happy birthday for tomorrow. And if I remember, I apologise if I don't, but I'll make sure I say happy birthday for you, uh, you know, tomorrow as well, on stream. But it's a six-hour trip. Oh, bloody hell. Well, at least you've got a long time of just listening to music, chilling out and stuff. It's always a good thing. Happy B-Day tomorrow. Oh, that's very nice of you, Robin. Yeah, I'll tune in more often and be busy. No, that's all right, man. It's okay. Honestly, don't stress. It's fine. If you Like, I don't expect people to see every single stream. It's fine. I've got some quality programming to watch. Of course. Of course. Thanks, Robin. Oh. We do have a Discord now, by the way, Salts, if you're interested. Um, I can put that in the chat for you, or someone can put it in the chat for you. Um, and uh, feel free to join that. I'll basically be putting updates and stuff on my streams there, so... Why not? Right, okay. Ah, oh, damn. It must weigh a fucking ton. It must. Hey, a little help here? Stop staring and help. James, I will watch you and you will accept it. I, I will. I will, Sots, and I am very grateful for you watching me. Much love to your face, good sir. Can you stream Wars 2 tomorrow? Do you know what? Because it's your birthday, of course I can. I will stream Halo Wars 2 tomorrow for you. <laughs> it won't be the entire stream, but it will definitely be a sizable portion, shall we say. Huh. Don't... Ah! Get your ass over here and help me push. Yay! Oh. <laughs> that was about the spelling of my name, James. Oh. Why not I? <laughs> you got it. I apologize. We shall party tomorrow. We shall. We shall party in the name of salts. Oh, man. My arms feel like jello. It sure was heavy. Hey, is that really a way out here? I'm not sure. Robin is British. Shake my head. It is. <laughs> That reverend. I wouldn't take him for a liar. He was nice enough to take me to the floors below, too. Uh, even so. Okay, fine. Let's just give it a look, then. Oop. A keyhole. A keyhole? Yeah, so the way out must be on the other side. But it's locked. No key? Where could it be? Hey, Ray. Zack, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah. Way ahead of you. Hey, stand back. Doors aren't for opening. They're for smashing! Goddamn. And that's how it's done. Yeah. Wow. No. You uh, aren't impressed anymore, I take it. Sorry. 
It's old news. Oh, Ben! Is it now? Ooh. Okay. He's going to be blocking the way, isn't he? Apparently not. Man, these stairs go on forever. You're right. I just remembered. Oh? What was it this time? When I came here, I was blindfolded the whole time. It's vague, but I have memories of going down a really long staircase. Which means these stairs should lead us to the surface in no time. No kidding! It's about damn time. Tell me when we reach the top. So I can puke. Let's take a breather once we're out. Let's hurry then. Right behind you. Holy shit, what the fuck? The hell did you fall for? I tripped on the stairs. It hurts. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you can't be tired. You slept like a log. Uh, can you walk? Yeah, I'm fine. Congrats for acting like a normal human being. Huh? But let's go. And watch your step, damn it. Hey, we never did find that Danny bastard. Don't you think we should have found the bastard and finished him off? But I've no clue of, where, of his whereabouts. Not only that, he's been a resident of the building for who knows how long. So he no doubt knows the building like the back of his hand. Hanging around here is dangerous. Mm, God damn it. Looks like I got no choice. Zack? You know how you said earlier in the elevator that you're happy, empty-handed? Here, take this. Is this your knife? Are you sure it's okay for me to use it again? It's yours. Huh? Oh. There's a chip in it, so I'm not sure it'll be of any use. But it's better than being empty-handed, right? Thanks. Besides, once we get out of here, it's in the back. Let's get going. Yeah. Uh-oh. Huh? What's that? The soft suck sequence has been initiated. Detonation will commence from the basement levels. Zack, we gotta get out of here. Oh shit, what the hell's happening? This building's going to explode. I haven't watched this game since Dr. McEye Fetish was here. What's the plot so far? So this is basically uh, coming up to the end now. They're managing to escape, but they haven't actually escaped just yet. They've had the fights with the Doctor. We learned all about Ray's past. Like, it, there's a lot to sort of squeeze in, so. But to, to catch you up, basically, Ray's mother and father were abusive towards one another. They were also abusive to her. Um, uh, the preacher basically helped them escape by giving them clues. Zack had to kind of come to terms with not being a god, you know, normal shit. <laughs> they're, just, they're just trying to escape now at this point. But yeah, that's like, I know it sounds sporadic and awful of an explanation, but that's basically it. You gotta escape or the building will collapse. It's time to go! Why did you just stand there? Oh no. The debris. I gotcha. At this rate, we'll end up burned alive or buried in rubble. Zack. Uh. Zack? Zack, there's debris all around us. We're trapped. What are we gonna do? Uh. Yeah. No way in hell am I gonna be burned alive. Zack.
Zack. This way. Zack! <laughs> this way. We can get out through here. Huh? Zack, I know you can smash through here. So I know you've got this. Come on, Zack! Come on, Zacky boy! <laughs> Forgot to do this. Thank you very much, Shots. I appreciate the hydrate, mate. There you go. Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate the hydrate. My voice definitely needs it. <laughs> okay, Zach, you got this. Come on, come on. <laughs> Bad news, Ray. My, uh, my legs are frozen. <laughs> oh, the flames. She had idea. What the hell? What are you doing? It's sure is hot and it burns. Fucking obviously! Zack, listen to me. I'll tell you what you can smash. And I'll find a way for us out of here. It's alright. We'll survive this. Move. I got this. Woo, boy! He got this! Come on! Damn, Ray. You're really something. Let's go, Zach. Let's go! Let's go, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Woo! Yeah! That's what I know! You got it! Let's go, Ray. I'll smash anything in our way. The basement floors will collapse in five minutes. It's not breakable. Zack, this one. Nice. Ah. Okay, go. Found it. This one. Zack, this one. I'm on it. Oh no, we can't go any further this way. Huh? Easy as pie. What? Ah, uh, wait! You know what's coming, right? Get ready! Huh! Oh, that was close. Not again! It's just easier chucking you instead. What's your face all goofy for? Time to move! Area yeah, head's buried in debris, but this looks breakable. Nice! Zach, keep it up. Keep the destruction up. Oh, the flames. If we watch our step, then we could possibly make it through. But hey now, what are you dragging your feet for? If we don't make it out of here fast, we're barbecue. Zack. Okay. It's dangerous, so let's stay close. Come on. Go. 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 Nice. We made it. Woo! I have to leave so near the end, but I gotta do some stuff. Let me know what happens. I will, Flinos. I will let you know how this ends. Thank you very much for joining today. Much love to your face. And thank you for joining the Penguin Family Discord as well. Much love. Mwah. Look after yourself. The fire hasn't spread here yet. I'll let you know if I find somewhere else that's breakable. Here. Let's go! Let's go, boys! Zack, break this. Hey, out of the way, huh? Damn it, that was a close one. Hang on, Zack. I'll take care of the fire. Knock it off. No need. You told me I can break it. Then there's no way in hell I can't break it, right? Right, Ray? Yeah! <laughs> See? He overcame his fear. You're right. Yeah. Let's move. Agreed. Zack, this looks breakable. Cool. Careful, though. It looks rigid. Huh? How the fuck do I carefully break something? Alright, just break it how you always do, then. Yep. Oh. Son of a bitch. Zack? The blade cracked. Is it broken? Nah, it should be fine. Let's get the hell out of here. It's not breakable. Ah! Thanks in advance. Oh! Zack, we're almost at the end of the stairs. Finally! Yeah, we're almost out. Oh! Time to go. Shit. 
Oh. Oh no. It's caved in. Hey. Ray. Think I can smash through the debris? Oh. Uh. Ah! I got this. So just say the magic word, Ray. You got this. Let's go! Leave it to me. Took you long enough. Yep. Oh! Zach, your scythe. Whoa, she's spent. Oh well, I picked it up around here after all. No worries, I'll find a replacement when we get out of here. First things first, let's get out of here. Move it! Run! Get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out! Good. We made it. Man, this damn building was absolutely fucked up to the very end. But still, you did good, Rachel. I couldn't have done it without you. The same goes for me. Zach? Yeah? The exit! It's the way out. We did it. Now we can finally leave this dump. Zack. What? Once we're outside, you'll kill me, right? What? Well, what are you asking me now, now for? Zack, is that what you want as well? All right, got to get back to doing some stuff. Uh, we'll be here tomorrow, though. Cheers. All right, Salts, no worries, mate. Take care of yourself. See you soon. And, uh, yeah, happy birthday for tomorrow. But I will remember and I will say happy birthday tomorrow, mate. Take care of yourself. Much love. See, my desire to die is unchanged. But, but if possible, I want you to desire it. I want my death to be desired. Though I long for death, the thought of dying alone suddenly makes me feel so desolate on the inside. Desolate. Oh, God. English, James. Desolate on the inside. The thought of you deeply desiring my death makes me truly happy. Although you did just give me a knife, so I feel like I'm being selfish. I gave you that knife earlier for one reason. So you'd survive long enough for me to kill you. Till then, I never did a single thing for anyone in my life. No way in hell would I ever swear an oath for something I didn't or don't desire. You mean it? Damn it, will you give me a rest? How many times do I gotta say? That you hate liars. Come on! What are you compl compl completing my sentences for? When the time comes, make sure you're ready to show me that face I want to see. You suck at smiling more than anyone I know. You got it. Wow, they're actually going to get out, man. Oh, no, there, there he is. There's Danny. We were waiting for that. But, but Ray! Oh, wait, did she get shot? Ray! What the hell? Zack. <laughs> oh, how dreadfully terrible! What a horrible mess! <laughs> Guess who blew up the building? It's just a matter of time until the flames engulf the upstairs! <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> Are we hot blooded despite being unarmed? Uh, what a pity! You promise to each other will go unfulfilled! <laughs> Zack. Zack, I'm so sorry. What the hell for? Hey, snap out of it! I made a promise to you that I couldn't keep. Sorry. 
Cut the bullshit. Didn't I tell you I hate liars? Hey, stay with me. I'm not going to let you go. <laughs> You're trapped, helpless, and powerless! <laughs> and best of all, Zack, I won't let you kill Rachel. How does it feel, you guys? How does it feel to have your dream crushed? I just love to know! <laughs> then after that, how about we all off ourselves? Shit. Zack. Stop. Lying. Sorry. For fuck's sake. Don't make me a liar! I can't let you die on me! No. Zack. It's okay. You were always there for me. But it doesn't need to every time. What are you saying? <laughs> There's nothing more entertaining than a helpless monster. No. He's no monster. But he's no god neither. Zack is human. Oh. You're human, Zack. Which is why... Which is why you needn't always devote yourself to me. Look, human? So what? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You don't seek devotion, Rachel! But I've devoted for my all, my everything to you. The food, the clothing, toys, even the floor itself was all for you. <laughs> yes, I gave you a place to thrive, and now you deny that? I'm sorry, Doctor, but none of that is what I wanted. Ah! Then what did Zack give you that's so special? Just some trashy knife? Oh, was it that ridiculous oath? An oath to enjoy your death! <laughs> Absolute lunacy! <gasps> Despite the fact I... I tried to spare you life. Doctor, I... didn't want to live that way. The truth is, I wanted to be desired in life and desired in death. Even for a fleeting moment. I realised that Zack and I made an oath and strove to leave this place. That was enough for me. Now, then at least show me your despair! After all, I just snatched away your oath! Shut up! Oh, do be quiet, let me finish! Doctor, you haven't snatched it away. Ah! This oath, it was sworn by Zack and I. An oath cannot be stolen by someone else. Ah! 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 Even, even if it's never fulfilled. It doesn't matter, since it's ours. This, I know. Wait, I just can't accept that. Zack, I'll bear this oath. So please don't think of yourself as a liar. Zack, our promise doesn't have to be fulfilled. God damn. Ray. Ray. God damn. Uh. <laughs> oh, and Rachel. Oh, you intend to live the rest of your life with those evasive, 
distrusting people. <laughs> I thought that it wouldn't matter that we couldn't, we can't live together. Yes, if you would remain in isolation forever, I could die a happy man. Yet, why do you insist on distancing yourself from isolation to the very last? You ruined it! So it's all over! Ooh. Your desire and sex, all of it, everything! I'll put an end to them along with my own desires too! <laughs> What? <gasps> what? What are you doing? I say, you have taken your indulgence too far. I'm not finished yet. I must take care of them. Ah. Uh. Oh, Zack. Can you still move? You bastard. Say your fucking prayers. Save your strength for leaving this place. Mind your own beeswax! A human will die from this much blood loss. What's the point of going on outside if she dies? Rachel Gardner is still quite alive. Take her outside now, and she will be saved. What do you mean? Find out for yourself. Seriously? Is this chick a mortal or something? The building could collapse at any moment, Zack. The ah. Uh. God damn. Ah, this place is no more. Tis an unexpected end to this tale, would you not say, Daniel? Clever! <coughs> Why? I admit it was selfish, but yes, it was for your sake too. Still, my actions were not a mistake in the least. It was for my happiness. And my meddling in the <coughs> battles of those who upset the laws of the building should have benefited you in some way. Oh, Danny. Twas helpful indeed. I was able to observe something quite fascinating. I originally believed Zack to be a crystalline winged being. Those wings, however, hath faded away. Ah, uh, crystalline wigs? Did you truly think of him as an angel? Indeed. He was pure-hearted and bloodshed was all he had ever known. Nonetheless, the blade Zack wielded for that very purpose came to serve another. And coincidentally, his blade was broken. Zack has lost his wings and is now human. Well, tis better to say he was human all along, perhaps. That's merely just a coincidence. What is more intriguing is that one who sh showed me that was a child I condemned as a witch. Rachel Gardner. Ah, uh, Rachel. Twas a redact. Twas a red radical transformation, and quite telling. And she was merely a selfish, contradiction-riddled girl. In hindsight, perhaps twas I who attempted to strip Zack of his humanity. If that is true, then why? Why did you shoot me? 
My monitoring and experiments have already run their course. My role as the eyes of God has ended, and this shall serve as my inconsequential atonement. Reverend, <laughs> after all of all this time, whatever for? Danny, you are the one who brought that girl, desiring to bestow souls instead of rave them. Did you not attempt to become the god of that child? No! Nah. Yet, Danny, you are not a god. And you also knew this, did you not? Ugh. But what else is there for me then? When I saw Rachel's people, <laughs> they were involving, and loving, and full of such despair. <laughs> I longed to shower those peoples with love for all eternity. It was then that my once insignificant life gained meaning again. I could have accomplished <laughs> anything to make it come true. But I can no longer love those peoples. I mean, if she isn't alone, who will love such an ugly wretch like myself? Oh, Daniel. By showering her with love, you would only desire to someday be loved yourself. Ah! Uh, no! That's not true! Danny, we are merely human. Ah, it seems humans were the only beings here from the start. Yet humans create gods, angels, and even humans themselves. In fact, perhaps that was true for Rachel Gardner. And those who destroy them are humans as well. Ah, oh. <laughs> last one. What is it you have seen within the humans here? Well, regretfully, what I always see. Blindness, ugliness, and beauty. Nothing more. Oh, and Daniel. I feel the same can also be said for you. Ah! Uh I only realize this now, despite you stay here being the longest. Forgive me. But my time has drawn to an end. Now, you choose to call me beautiful? Indeed. Oh, Whew, that was intense. Angels of death. That was very intense. Okay. Hey, hang in there. We're almost outside. Don't go dying on me now. Whew. Hey, we're outside. We made it. Take her outside and she'll be saved? What does he mean by that? What am I supposed to do now? Hey, wake up. Hey, Ray. Wake up. Are you just going to die on me? For fuck's sake. Open your eyes. No. So when that bastard preacher said she'd be saved, this is what he meant, eh? Well, this place did light up like the 4th of July. So that's how it is, huh? Shh. 
Oh my god. Ray. Don't forget that I swore an oath to you. I will kill you. Right, is that it? Oh god, that music is so good though. Sean, with the imposter check. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Ha! Oh, that music! Yes! Yes! Date redacted. Richard Gardner, a girl who vanished during questioning regarding the Gardner homicide, was found near a burning building in city redacted, state redacted, and taken into protective custody. Found accompanying her was Isaac Foster, a suspect presumed to be involved in a string of murders which have been made which have made headlines in past years. This time Foster was charged and arrested for kidnapping, and though he denies these allegations, he has gone on record to admit the murder allegations are pretty true. Partially true. Furthermore, the body of a man was found in the burnt remains of the building, though authorities are unable to identify it. May! Is that it? Date redacted. Okay. Authorities are investigating the possible involvement of a new cult in the recent building fire, though an explosion at the time of the fire caused the building's basement to collapse, hampering progress. Furthermore, due to allegations against Isaac Foster as a suspect surfacing in the Gardner homicide, the case has now been reopened. Meanwhile, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Gardner, Rachel, who denied allegations against Foster for kidnapping, was transferred to a rehab facility. Due to exhibiting signs of mental de delirium, she is receiving counselling from a medical specialist, who will probably take her to another building. Date redacted. For the crimes of several murders and kidnappings, Isaac Foster was sentenced to death. Oh. So, Rachel, is there anything you feel uneasy about? No, not really. So you're sleeping well at night, I take it? Yes. I see. Oh, they're both women. Well then. That should be enough for today. My apologies for being late. I can't do a woman's voice well. I had a session with another child that ran over time. It's fine. I'll take you to your room. I can manage by myself. Hmm. Now we can't just let you do that, can we? Sorry, but... Okay. Okay. Oh my, what a beautiful moon today. Right, Rachel, isn't it a lovely night? Lovely night. Yes, on days like this, it's best to just hop right into bed. Sweet dreams await you. 
Okay, let's go. Is Isaac going to pop out? Are we going to see Zach? What is it, Rachel? Nothing. I see. Good. Yeah. Rachel, are you scared? Huh? Your condition has improved dramatically during your time here. The person who was with you. That killer, you're no longer obsessed with him like you used to be. So I'll tell you this, just to put you at ease. It's sort of against the rules, but... That killer... ...is to be executed. Hmm. I see. Is that so? Yes, it probably came as quite a shock to you, though now you can sleep at peace of mind tonight. Yes. Well, let's get going then. Slaps her and just leaves. <laughs> Yeah, she's obviously going to leave to go and see him, right? Now behave yourself and go to sleep, all right? Hmm. The truth is that my nights were always restless. And my mind was uneasy. Tonight was supposed to be another sleepless night. Okay. Fuck did she get the knife in there? <laughs> All I could do was shut my eyes. Oh. Jesus. All right, calm down. Oh my God. Oh, he's coming through the window. <laughs> That sound, is it coming from the window? Oh, my God. Ah, okay, yep. Right. What's that sound, Rachel? Oh, wait, what's that sound, Rachel? If it's not someone who works here, then... Rachel, open up! It's Zach. Rachel, what's going on in there? Oh no, I, I gotta call the police. Get back. Yeah, it's Zach! <laughs> Zach, baby! Ta-da! Zach? Oh man, there you go again, making that boring face. Uh, Zach, how did... Huh? How did I what? I mean, you're supposed to be in prison. Prisons? <laughs> I'm made to be broken out of, right? But back then, I said I'd bear the outcome of our oath. Yeah, so what about it? I mean, it's not yours to bear anyhow. Zack, 
So, you still want to kill me? This is me you're talking to here. I never lose sight of something that I want, right? Hurry up. There ain't much time left. Or, did you forget? No, Zack. I'd never forget. I mean, it's an oath. An oath you and I swore together. Now that's more like it. Hurry, this way. Come with me, Ray. Okay. Okay. Ready? Everyone push together. Hey, Zack. Please kill me. And stop your blubbering and smile. Oh damn, you win in time. That it? Is that the end? Holy shit, what an ending. <laughs> all right, okay, yeah, that's all right. I'm looking forward to watching the anime, I'm not gonna lie. That, as disturbing as this game was, holy shit, it was so well done. Oh, we're partying in here, boys. Raise the roof. Oh, crazy. So good, man. It was so good. Such a weird, like, it's such a fucking strange, and such an old, like, a weird story. But I, I don't know. I loved it. I don't know, maybe it's because I've watched a lot of animes that have weird sort of storylines and, and I'm kind of used to this stuff. But it, I don't know, I was weirdly captivated by it. And I, I love the relationship between, like, Ray and Zack. Like, you know, just the idea of the fact that they're both like, oh yeah, no, I'll promise to kill you. And the other one's like, sure, that's great. 10 out of 10. Ooh, there's a little bit more. <gasps> His knife is on the floor. Is someone going to take the knife? Is that what we're going to witness? No, it's just a final image, I think. That's it. Wow. Once in a blue moon. Cleared episode four. Well, I'll sure as shit say this much about it. Uh, it was fucking excellent. <laughs> it was very good. Uh, again, like, it's strange because you'd think a game with a story like that is not going to be that great. Um, <laughs> but, like, I think that's why I like indie games, man. Like, they're so different and so out of the realms of just, you know, what you would expect from, like, a story uh, and a storytelling perspective. That it's just, it's way out there. And that's this is kind of also why I love sort of anime games and i love like these oh god anime and stuff like that like they do outlandish things like shit like this all the time
just how it works. But yeah, no, great game, very good. I am, like I said, I'm looking forward to watching the uh, the anime on it. Um, it's definitely going to be a very interesting. I've actually like I never used to play 2D pixel games like that. Like they were so fucking dull and and whatever. And it's like now I'm older, of course. I'm like. Oh. What a stupid fucking take. But, uh, no, that was great. It was a fantastic game. Uh, enjoyed it a lot. Um, yeah, brilliant. I have got another 2D horror game, which is called Too Dark. Uh, that, sh that should be interesting. I don't know if that's based on an anime or not, but yeah. No, great. It was fantastic. I hope you all enjoyed the, the, the playthrough of it as well. It was a good time, I think, and I think we all enjoyed it a lot. Um... But yeah, I'll be honest with you, I think that's it for the stream today. Um, I know, again, this was a bit of a... Don't worry, tomorrow and Saturday, sh uh, you know, providing that nothing goes wrong with my health, uh, should be longer streams and should be, uh, you know, much more going on in them. So hopefully that will be the case. Um, but yeah, thanks to everyone for watching today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, again, thank you to Salts for popping in. I do appreciate it, mate. Thank you, Hayes and Sparkle, for being a part of the stream as well. Klinos, thank you very much for being a part of it. I know that you're gone now, lovely. But again, I do appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, Sean, for being a part of the stream as well, mate. I appreciate it. Again, Robin, thank you very much for being a part of the stream. Um, Chantel, of course, wonderful, lovely, and amazing Chantel. I do appreciate it. Shaggy, if you're in the background, I appreciate your lurking, good sir. And uh, yeah, to anyone else that watched it as well, thank you very much for taking the time to do so. Don't forget, guys, we are doing this for charity this month. Uh, if you want to check out the charity campaign page uh, or share the link around, uh, you can click underneath my stream. There is a panel down there. If you just click that, it'll take you to the campaign page. Or there is the link in chat if you want to check that out. Also, don't forget, we now have a Discord. We actually have a Discord server, so you guys can click it, check it out. Uh, and join up if you like to we're always like people will be hanging out in there all the time playing games I'll be in there pretty much all the time or as often as I possibly can be so feel free to join up if you haven't already yeah, Much love to your face for that. But uh, yeah to everyone again. Thank you very much for watching today I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget tomorrow's stream is going to be starting around 2 3 p.m Hopefully that is my goal. That is my aim uh, And of course Saturday will be hopefully starting in the morning but yeah, tomorrow, 2, 3 p.m., we'll be starting the stream, we'll be getting into it. It'll be a good time, hopefully, for everybody involved. But, um, yeah, again, thank you to everyone for watching. I am greatly appreciative of it. And, uh, yeah, I will catch you guys tomorrow for the next stream. I'm actually going to quickly check to see if anybody is streaming at the moment. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Let's, 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 let's have a sneaky look-see, shall we? Let's have a look. Um, Resplendence. I don't really watch Resplendence. I feel bad. I need to go and check him out again. I remember watching one of his streams and actually liking it a lot, so I'm just so useless at watching other people's streams. I'm terrible at it. But yes, anyway, thank you to everyone for watching once again. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys tomorrow for the next stream about 2, 3 p.m. So again, much love to your faces, guys. See you then. Take care and goodbye. <laughs>